Proteases are enzymes that cleave proteins. Neurosin is a protease expressed by the human calocrine 6 gene in the central nervous system. Calocrine 6 has been shown to be able to cleave alpha-synuclein after lysine and leads to its degradation. However, 99% of the time, it prefers to cleave substrates after arginine. So, the main goal of this project is to engineer calocrine 6 to express neurosin to cleave alpha-synuclein with high specificity and catalytic efficiency. My goal this summer was to take six potential variants of calocrine 6, which were from random mutagenesis and screened for alpha-synuclein specificity to further characterize them. This involved assembling DNA and manufacturing it into E. coli. Then, transforming the DNA into yeast through electroporation, as shown here in this figure. The yeast expresses the protein. Next comes purifying the protein using nickel histad purification, where the protein is captured and bound in a column that contains nickel, and the excess cell material can be washed out, and then from there, the protein can be collected. Lastly, I needed to conduct enzyme kinetic assays using fluorescence re resonance energy transfer peptides, representing substrates. When the amino acid sequence is cleaved, it gives off a fluorescence that can be measured on a plate reader. During this process, we ended up encountering several problems with DNA assembly and cloning, which was the first step, and it took us most of the summer to figure out how to successfully assemble the DNA. However, I ended up learning a lot about different ways to assemble DNA, including golden gates, manual digestion and ligation, and Gibson assembly. Towards the last few weeks, we successfully integrated the DNA into yeast after Gibson assembly. We successfully integrated and purified the protein from one variant, and we will be able to run a kinetic assay before my time here is up. Despite our issues with DNA assembly, we were able to do some preliminary kinetic assays on the wild type calocrine 6. Working in the Thenard lab this summer has been an invaluable experience for me to learn about microbiology techniques and experimental design in synthetic biology. I also got a lot of practice giving presentations in the form of research updates and a journal club presentation. By reading journal articles, I actually reminded Dr. Denard of an important discovery related to the kinetic properties of wild type calicrin 6 and one of its substrates. This experience has made me very excited to continue on the path of scientific research whilst emphasizing the importance of the process of learning as opposed to reaching for perfection. Thank you for listening.